In this presentation, I will be dating the microwave, a very prominent household item, all the way back to the 1800s. The microwave was first used in World War II. Weirdly, the microwave's first purpose was to heat swords for blacksmithing. Smithing companies were using intense, invisible ink as a very prominent tool in their product line of inks, glues, and tires. To get to this, we must go all the way back to the discovery of the, elect the electromagnetic spectrum, when William Herschel discovered infrared radiation. He was studying the temperature of different colors by moving a thermometer through a light split by use of a prism. He noticed that the highest temperature was beyond red. William Herschel theorized that this temperature change was due to caloritic rays that were a type of light ray that could not be seen. This was sort of a revolution into the sciences of invisible rays and energy that produced excess heat. This discovery also prompted many others to make other shocking discoveries into invisible rays and energy that produced excess heat. The modern day x-ray is also an invention which used invisible energy rays to detect things in the human body. It was first discovered when experimenting with Crocs. Due to, early, due to an earlier experiment of electrical discharge, the x-ray was accidentally invented by English physicist William Crocs around 1875. Radiation was discovered in 1896. Henry Barranquero was using naturally fluorescent minerals to study the properties of x-rays, which had been discovered in 1895 by William, William Roggington. The early x-rays were invented by William Crocs more than 20 years ago. He believed with an experiment that uranium would absorb the sun's rays and create an x-ray. His first attempt ultimately failed because there was a huge forecast in Paris during the time. However, he decided to develop his photographic plates anyways, and to his surprise, the photos were strong and clear, and this is how he discovered radiation. On July 16, 1945, the first atomic bomb is successfully detected in Alamogordo, New Mexico. 120, 120 miles south of Santa Fe, the first atomic bomb was detonated. This bomb was a huge step into the science of radioactivity. This prompted many scientists to make more and more studies into the electromagnetic spectrum. Believe it or not, this actually had a huge impact on the microwave. Therefore, later that same year, on October 8, 1945, Percy Spencer decided to pursue the career for an attempt at the first commercial microwave and filed a patent for it. In this patent, he makes specific notes about the choice of frequency which provides heat, high heating efficiency, the size of the KFC, and some superfluous details of magneton Oscar Flotter itself. When interviewed about whether or not the microwave was safe for household use, Spencer explained that the testing for the first atomic bomb in Algamagordo, Mexico, inspired him and made him reconsider the safety mechanics of his invention. Sure enough, he found out that there was a mistake in his original plans. In response, he made drastic ch changes to his invention. He even filed a second patent, and in this patent, he defined the safety mechanics in more detail and explained how use of the invention to pop popcorn. Eight years later, the company produced its first commercial microwave oven and released its first domestic version in 1967. The high price and fears about radiation safety meant it would take at least another decade for the appliance to become popular. After that, Spencer's company devoted to safety in the modern-day household and renovated the electric stove as sort of a succession to the now popular machine that was the microwave. My final thoughts. The microwave isn't a bomb or weapon. It wasn't discovered through intense scientific research, but its concept dates all the way back to the invention of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, yes, microwaves don't give off intense radiation that could cause cancer, but it is related to all kinds of waves up from ultraviolet rays to gamma rays. Without the discoveries and inventions relating to radiation, x-rays, and uranium, we might have never had the microwave. And without it, we might have just gone back to fire ovens. But the microwave is a very important piece of household history, and without it, you might not have the foods that you love so much today. And sure, they're not easily they're not easily throw throw awayable, but everything is okay. TVs, stoves, cars, nothing's easy to biodegrade. That's just the price to pay of progress. And in this case, the microwave is an amazing example of the progress of modern science. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed.